this this alligator has an incredible temperament, which is very unusual. Does he have a name? It's personalized this. I think it's Fred, right? Yep. It's Fred. Fred the alligator. Fred was found living in a pond in New England and was rescued. It was someone's illegal pet, and that's why... How many these, people are keeping these A lot of people, believe it or not, keep them as pets, and they don't make good pets. They belong You're in the kidding, wild. You're not kidding, Sherlock. But, <laughs> but these animals, they really are, they are what we call a keystone species. The environments where they live, they are critical to keeping those environments healthy. They are often called landscape architects, because when a ga big gator like this moves through the water, he's creating an open well, waterway. He's a magnificent, but he, he looks kind of dinosaur-like. They do have a prehistoric look, and they have been on this earth for a long time. Crocodilians have been on this planet for 60 million years. But whenever you see something alive today, like a, that Nile croc or an American alligator, it is a very modern animal that has evolved to take on the challenges of our world today. How old can they live? Well, that's kind of a mystery. We don't know that. We know that they continue to grow throughout their lifetimes. Something neat about sharks and crocodilians is they have an, an exquisite, amazing resistance to disease. When they're younger, they grow faster. And as they get bigger and older, they start to slow down. But this animal could live for many, many years, easily as long as a human being. I mean, he looks, Fred, very docile, but they all look a bit docile until they kill you, right? Yeah, he pro if he has one bad day, uh, you're going to need your belt for a tourniquet. What would he do? Well, if he was in predator mode, basically what he would be doing is just sort of hunker down like a submarine low to the water. And basically most of his head would be covered. And as you see, Pierce, he's got this just incredible camouflage that allows him to melt into that watery world. And in fact, he even has his own... Uh, version of like a snorkelist mask. If I close his eyes, if you guys zoom in tight to the eye, watch as we open it up, you can see that lens come across. Do you see wow, that? Wow, yeah. It's called a nictitating membrane, and, and that allows him to protect his eyes. You keep them open. But when he comes in, he uses those powerful jaws to grab onto its prey 